The 12th annual Soiree Suisse, celebrating Swiss-U.S. relations, took place on September 18th at the Embassy of Switzerland in the United States. The ambassador of Switzerland, Manuel Sager, welcomed 1,300 guests to the Swiss residents for an evening of Swiss culture and innovation in the capital city. The evening was mainly sponsored by 45 companies, both from the U.S. and Switzerland, and attended by the embassy's top contacts in government, business, science, culture, and defense. It's always encouraging to see that so many people, Washingtonians, also appreciate this relationship and think that uh, Swiss-U.S. relations are important, strong, and healthy. The main reason why we invite you all here really is to say thank you. This year's Tell Award recognized Swiss pioneers Bertrand Picard and André Borchberg, inventors of the first solar-powered aircraft. Between Switzerland and America, we share this pioneering spirit. We should never forget that aviation was born in America. The Swiss State Secretary for Research and Innovation, Mauro Dell'Ambrogio, was on hand to mingle with U.S. decision makers and discuss the need for cooperation between researchers from both nations. If you're able to connect with uh, the best spot in the world, then, then you become in innovative. And I think that Switzerland and the United States offer some spots of this kind. Guests enjoyed a true Swiss experience, sampling traditional offerings from top Swiss companies, including two special cocktails, raclette cheese from Emmy, Nespresso coffee, Davidoff cigars and Sancti malt whiskey, Kubler absinthe paired with Villar chocolate, not to mention an interactive toy cable car race from Switzerland Tourism. The central theme of the evening was innovation, in recognition of Switzerland's ranking as the top country in the world for innovation by the World Economic Forum. Inside the residence, guests interacted with some of the most advanced robots from Swiss universities. Top embassy contacts discussed Switzerland's current and future importance in innovation. Right, there are uh, just a growing number of incredibly exciting innovations that really promise to uh, change the future for the better. And I think that there is uh, just a ton of growing opportunity uh, for innovators uh, to collaborate across oceans, across boundaries. As the sun began to set, Swiss light artist Gary Hofstetter illuminated the ambassador's residence with images from the sciences. Influencers from branches of the U.S. government enjoyed networking with Swiss representatives under the moonlight. I traveled to Switzerland in 2011 as a guest of the Swiss government and uh, was able to see firsthand the importance in the relationship between the United States and Switzerland. And of course, we fell in love with the raclette while we were there. Bridge builders promoting exchange between Switzerland and the United States shared their views on the importance of the transatlantic relationship. It's very important to strengthen the relations between the United States and its friends. And Switzerland has been a very good friend to the United States for more than 200 years. So it's a fantastic event to bring together Swiss and Americans in important positions in this city and across the country. Displays on Swiss innovations came to life across the grounds on the topics of solar energy, sustainable architecture, transportation, and cell biology. In addition to the wonderful memories of the evening, guests received a parting gift with Swiss products. And telling from the feedbacks that we have received this evening, I think this was another successful event. And I'm, of course, incredibly grateful for all the volunteers that have helped here, all the, the wonderful people that through their generosity and, uh, and their, their work, their effort, have helped to make this a success. And here, of course, a particular shout out to our corporate sponsors. Obviously, we couldn't have done it without them.